good morning all uh, back on the same field but the farmer's done a little bit more uh, ploughing I was just talking to him and he was out here till 8 o'clock last night in the dark and uh, he's done what uh, not even a third of the field um, tried walking on it this morning do some detecting a little bit difficult um, but he says he's not going to uh, roll and seed it for a little while uh, not sure what he's going to put in so I thought I'd come back onto the uh, onto the smooth area, make life a little bit easier. And what do we have here? The first couple of signals were buttons and lead. This is about the fourth, fifth signal. And we have here something very, very interesting. Uh, I've got to research it. It's a hook. It looks like a crochet crocheting hook. Um, but I uh, sure it's not but that is old very old uh, medieval maybe earlier than that and I'm gonna look after that and uh, research it later on okay. Okay, on to the next. Well, pull down from here uh, a good nine inches, something like that. Uh, maybe less, no, yeah, eight, nine inches down. And uh, out we come with uh, this. Um, not sure what it is. It looks a part of a, uh, I don't know, maybe a brooch. Um, it has the... Uh, it has the central mark there and markings across the top not sure if you can see it there um, but the it's like a marking down there marking across there um, anyway we'll research it a little bit later on see what we have and we'll A good seven, eight inches down here, uh, picked out this piece of bronze. Um, it's uh, broken off something, but you can see it has a clear, a clear cut there, and uh, shaped. Uh, not sure what it would have been part of, but it's uh, bronze, and uh, yet another party fact. Okay, on to the next. A good six inches down there, uh, pulled out this, um, it looks uh, like a mount of some sort. Now the hole in the middle, I'm not sure whether that is intentional or not, it's diamond shaped, um, but there's some gilding on it and then some working round the edge of this uh, piece. Now on the back, there is a uh, two, um, like a mount, um, I dare not touch it, it's very fragile, uh, but I suspect it's some sort of brooch, uh, there's gilding on it on the front, and um, you can see where the two uh, pieces have been put through there to have some sort of clasp. Now whether the hole in the middle was to hold some sort of stone, but I don't think this is uh, like Victorian or Georgian, I think it's a lot, lot older than that, more like medieval, and I'm going to, it's almost heart shaped, but it's not, it's, uh, I would say, shield shaped, and uh, I'm going to clean that up very gently and see what we've got, but that is a very, very nice uh, find indeed. Uh, I'll show you again the uh, clasp on the back, uh, it's there and uh, we'll research that and see what we've got.
again uh, another four or five inches down there and pick this out uh, another part uh, this is very very old again uh, it's got gilding on it if you can see and two little holes there well one hole and one where there's a little pin again that's part of something now I found that here and just literally uh, less than a meter away there uh, I found the other uh, little pendant drop thing whatever it was and um, I'm just wondering what's going on here because um, I looked on the, the old maps and there were some circles on some old maps around here and you know several circles but they're not in on all the maps and uh, but there was one that was taken some years ago from a, a satellite and there's several circles here and I'm wondering if this is part of some sort of um, uh, jewelry mid medieval or early medieval Saxon maybe uh, um, jewelry uh, so we'll continue to look around this area see what we can find see you at the next about uh, four inch inches down five inches down another piece of this um, uh, bronze it's got a hole punched in it uh, I don't know what it is uh, this is a bit thinner but it's obviously a part of a maybe a buckle plate or something but um, it's in the same area where I'm finding all the other pieces so uh, we keep looking uh, and see what we can find okay on to the just pick this out on the plowed ground uh, sadly it snapped uh, but it's a uh, not sure what it is but uh, it would have been part of something you can see some decoration on it okay on to the next well that gave a nice signal down there uh, you can see it there it's uh, it looks like door furniture cupboard furniture something like that handled through there uh, very modern 19th 20th century okay on to the next